Um, I remember um, Aunt Judy, the lunch lady. Um, she will always forever be known as that. Um, <laughs> Dara, like, poor life, poor woman. Oh, entering into the system. Okay, so... <sighs> It's like prison for innocent people who did nothing wrong. It's just the world around them was in this big war and was punishing them before they even got here. And then having to deal with the outcomes of being successfully picked up in a timely fashion by the whatever is laying around. Um, all right, so... Um, Jesus, it's like, uh, all right, so, uh, Judy, when I used to go there, had, when they bought the house, they had no dog, uh, and then one summer, um, we were at Uncle Eddie's house in his pool, um, myself and the cousins, it was an in-ground pool, um, and, uh, we were swimming all day, didn't want to get out, we were like fish. I don't remember which cousins were there. I don't think it matters. And um, the Aunt Judy came with a box, and she called us all out of the pool. She wanted to show us something. And then she had this, like, little puppy. I think she got it from, like, Bidewee. I don't know how to spell it, but whatever. Instead of, like, um, North Shore Animal League, it was Bidewee. She kept calling it Bidewee. Okay. Um, and then I think she said that's what Father Crespi told us to call it. Uh, right. He has a... Well, I'm saying it now. He's got a K in the name because he's able to read updates and papers and help me. I go with the C for Crespi because I can't physically see papers because I don't have any. And I never have while I'm waiting for a traveler to come to bring me to the junction box. Um, all right, so, um, let's think about this. I'm still sitting in the toggle switch area holding cargo bay. It's like, how much longer is this going to take for you to get one thing right my whole fucking life, guys? Um, and then nobody gives a shit about anybody else. Like, how many, I, it doesn't fucking matter how many died. It doesn't matter how many are going to be injured. That's like stupid shit that's going to cause more fucking problems. Get her to Junction Box, and then we'll worry about anything else. And not until it's settled and confirmed my way. Um, so Judith brought the box with the bite wee dog. It was some kind of mutt with a white... They, she called it Angel. She had a whole bunch of toys. Um, she was like, Nicole, what kind of toy do you think? And I'm like, oh, what do you got? Like, what are my choices? So uh, we looked, there was like a rawhide, there was a bone, there was some kind of squeaky thing. I don't know, and then she might have, maybe she didn't get the squeaky one. And I was like, yeah, that's probably better off. I don't really like noisemakers. Um, all right, so anyway, so then I think we did a follow-up phone call, um, and uh, they're like, so I hear Judy got the dog. How do you like it? I'm like, it's all right. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's cute. I mean, <laughs> what do you want me to say? It's not my traveling partner. It's not, I'm not in the junction box. So like, whatever, the dog. I was like, now what's going on? Like, did you get any word? Like how much longer this is going to be? Right, Judy got a dog, so this way I'd have company. I'm like, now, why would a dog be good enough company? I'm like, I don't know, that's what they're saying down at the VA. You sound like the old vets, like, they're saying the same thing. Like, I lost my wife. What, what, is, a fucking, what is a dog going to do for me? I'm like, yeah, no, I know. I lose him every day I wake up. So, like, how much longer before I can, like actually get to where he is. I'm like, I'm, all, I'm in a size four Soviet. I feel good. I'd like to enjoy while I can. I hear all these vets, they're so depressing when they lose their partner. I was like, I'm lucky my partner's still here even though I lose him every day. I was like, so I know it's confusing to them that I feel the pain, but I don't really, I, got, I, want, I just want like to know it's settled. Like when, when is this gonna happen? Swear to God, that's how I fucking went every day. Like, I have no patience for the, I don't know, it could be, it might be. Uh, 
No, he's here. I'm here. I'm his size. We confirmed it. I don't really care about your key problem. I was like, if you need to take a Louisville slugger and fucking knock all the knuckleheads until they stop squeaking, I'm fine. I want to go to my traveling junction box. I don't care what it takes. I want to go. Where did I lose you in 42 fucking years of not one fucking person matters? Um, so, uh, let's see here. There's no, like, I'm covering you because you're covering him. That happens when I get to the junction box. Thus far, nothing's worked. Nothing's worked. You haven't been successful. None of you deserve to live. End of story. Um, let's see. Right, apparently, Crespi liked the fact that uh, I chose the, to use the word rawhide, R-A-W-H-I-D-E. Nothing like doom and gloom in the catacombs of everybody that's done everything, even with JAG assist, thanks to the little one's ability to be a kgb -er for life, no matter what success ratio, whatever. Um... So it's like, right, owns the keys, owns the where we got to end up. So either way, it's them coming towards us with what we got to fix now, and there's no option. So all of those people that have lost every day since I was four or five, right, got it. Um, we kind of knew that because I needed to get to the junction box. So why is it in, like, 1993, something happened with the toggle, because uh, Dan, right, I mean, I had Healy, Egan, um, and Scott. Oh, and then there was, was it, not Jagger, was it Jaeger? I don't know, something like that. And, uh, and I have Frank, Mr. Frank also, although I don't think he was in that whatever. Um, and I um, met this guy, Dan. Not an attractive guy at all. Uh, he has a look to him. It looks weird, but whatever. And then he wanted to date me. And then he wanted to talk. First of all, he talked to me. And I was like, I was going to driver's ed. And then I was like, I don't know, whatever. I was over like the 11th graders. I was just, or I was 11th. He was in, no, I was in 10th, I think. And he was in, yeah, I was in 10th. And he was in, he was a senior. He was going to Yale after that. What do you fucking do? Um, as if it did any fu buddy fucking in New York any good. Um, only fucking person on the planet you've ever met that mattered, but whatever. Talk about zero success. So, uh, wanted to go to Spring Break, Florida. Cover story, great. Did that. Wound up in A-R-I-D. I'm 16, 15, 16. Right. Uh, Nick, I mean... What do I call you then? I mean, Mark? I mean, Beauty Mark? Would I go with Beauty Mark again? Or, I mean, was it here or was it here? It's hard to tell which file it was. Or were you going with Nikki? I mean, I don't really know with you. And you're like, right, I know. Well, that's because you don't carry a gun. I'm like, right, no, I get that part. And I was like, but, like, uh, whatever. So, um, he was like, right, so he was there and then, Something about cargo pants. He got stuck with some plasma pen. They were calling him HIV with some rolling receipt and accounting process in the plasma that was billing his blood based tied into some networking grid that they were working on with a calendar feature for him and I. Meanwhile, we're in some ARID housing structure waiting to get permanent placement in what we thought was heaven. Um, compared to New York, it sure fucking was. And then, all of a sudden, it was like, no, no, they're hitting you with some charge for HPV. You're gonna go back, I don't know, it's some kind of web that I put on you for venom or whatever else we got. He's like, yeah, it's confusing on my side. And I'm like, right, but if I go back, and then they hit me with the, the connection toggle switch problem again. How, I mean, what happens is, like, like, you know, if, if they install a junction box in, a, in like, <laughs> if there's a wall and there's nothing here, and then all of a sudden they install this and they tell you they didn't do anything, but you know it's there, 
Uh, I mean, like, I know it's there before. We knew it's there after. Or the paperwork for Crosby knew, knew it was there after. He knew for sure it was in the wall that they were messing with the junction box and the router, like routing of the, the electric charge, which was f messing with my whatever ability. But when I'm there, if they turn the switch off through the junction box, not even standing there and hitting the switch, it causes a whole nother set of issues and lets them get away with so much more shit in hidden area. Because then it's like, how do you fucking set the process? Killing them is so much fucking quicker. Why are they still alive? And why? If I stop, I mean, I wasn't talking anyway. But they get fucking hit in the switch so I wouldn't talk. It's like that doesn't happen until like 40 years in the fucking future when we are going to fucking nuclear annihilate all of you and there's going to be no fucking stopping us because of what you fucking did to me. And whoever else, whatever, catacombed on the way to reorganization. <laughs>